Hello everybody, my name is Ingenious Clown, and welcome to a brand new series on a game called Momodora, Reverie Under the Moonlight. This is a Metroidvania title that my friend Zero Budget Geek recommended highly. He really loves this game, and he thought I should give it a try, so I'm giving it a try. Albeit a bit later than he would have probably liked, because he told me about this game months ago. But I'm finally playing it now, because I've ever since I did another Metroid 2 remake on my stream, I have just been... I've been wanting another Metroidvania title. So let's go ahead and dive in, in into it, and if you don't mind, go check out Zero Budget Geek's channel. You can see a link in the description below, or you'll, you can click on a card that I will put on here. But for now, we're just going to start a game with some controller controls and a normal. Now, full disclosure, I've already started this. I've, gone, I've gotten to the second boss on hard mode, and I realized Fuck this, this is too damn hard. So I'm starting over. <laughs> I'm afraid this is as far as I can take you. I'm sorry. Anything close to the city is too dangerous. Surely that shouldn't be a problem for a priestess like you. Fighting using a leaf must be difficult. Blip. But I have faith in your ability to seal the curse away. It is spread to your land too, after all. For now, maybe the best you can do is seek an audience with our queen. I will do that. So that's a leaf that she's swinging? That's really weird. So I already know all the basics here. There are less enemies here than there were... ...in hard mode. Like, hard mode adds a ton of enemies, it seems like. Like, there was a bomb girl up there, there was a club dude right there, and I dealt with him no problem. Give me this bell flower. We'll go ahead and equip this. Yeah. Yeah. And these guys were pretty hard. I don't know if they're as hard in this one, but... In hard mode, at least, they did this crazy charge attack that I didn't expect. I mean, he didn't do it there. Oh, there it is. Yep, they still do it. That did a lot of damage to me. Also, you start with half health. That's like fucking, ow, terrifying. Enemies seem to do the same amount of damage, but I have double the health, so it doesn't really matter as much. Up. Up we go, up we go, up, 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 up we go. I do like the movement in this game. Like, the movement mechanics are pretty satisfying as a whole. Gotta save there. So yeah, this first little bit is going to be a little bit... I hate these shield maidens so much. It's gonna be a little bit on the rush side, because I literally just played this. Also, I don't like these very much, but they're easy enough to kill. They get one shot. Boop. I said boop. I guess I have to fully charge here, so I can get my spread shot on her. Always gotta get the spread shot. Also that and that. Boom. Speedrun strats. All the best. Dying in this game sucks, by the way. Like, you lose so much. Like, maybe not progress, but... I hate these shield maidens. I mean, I guess you do kind of lose progress, because... Like, every time you enter a screen, the enemies come back. And of course, that gets a little bit frustrating if you die a lot. Which is... Ow, I got poisoned. Which is a big reason why I decided... Hey, I didn't get contact damage from her. It's a big reason why I decided that, uh... This poison needs to go away. I think it did. Good. It's a big reason why I decided to restart. Because, as much as I enjoy hard modes on games... This game was a little bit too much of a hard mode. It kind of reminded me a bit of Cave Story. Those of you who haven't played Cave Story, uh, the hard mode of that game is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, those of you who haven't played Cave Story, it, uh, it's another Metroidvania game where you gain life as you progress through the game. You gain maximum health. But in hard mode, you don't. So what that forces you to do is to be perfect. It absolutely forces you to be absolutely perfect in uh, everything you do. Like, you can't take hits from 
anybody. And some of the bosses get absolutely ridiculous. Like, it's insane. Even, even with like 100% and all the health, the very last boss of Cave Story is absolutely insane. He's so hard. Maybe not for somebody who's like MLG platformer pro, but I, that's not me. That's not me, dog. It's not me. So what you saw over there was me killing like a little bit of a mini boss. Because I knew how to fight him. Just dodge roll through him, do your supercharge, three shot into him, and boom! Bada bing, bada bang, he's dead. And you save and move on. It. Let's kill this chick right here. And there's not another one there. There is a spider here, though. We could knock him out, then we can come down here, do what we need to do. Boom. Now these guys, I'm not really sure how to handle in a very eloquent manner, he says, as he absolutely destroys them. Let's, let's just ignore those. Screw those. Uh, there's a girl over here, and she likes to tell me to go away. Go away, you stupid girl. I'm not a stupid girl. I'm a smart girl. I'm a very, very smart girl. Let's just ignore her. Get this treasure chest. I really think that those shield maidens aren't worth fighting. They're a little on the annoying side. Ow! You bitch! That was so perfectly fired. <laughs> I did not expect that. Get me down here. Ivory bud. There we go. This why do some of these guys have band-aids? Strange. Let's roll through that, cause. God damn it. I hate these. I hate these shields. Get out of here. This is my house. This is my rules. Let's eat a bellflower. Do, 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 do. Great. We're gonna go. We're gonna get going. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, can't do anything up there yet. I have a feeling I'm gonna come back as I get a slide move. Holy crap. No. Ow, what? I thought I didn't take contact damage from the shields. My bad. My mistake. Uh, let's fire that over there. What? That didn't kill anybody? There we go. Ow, you dick. All right, come into the corner. And I have some words for you. <laughs> Taught him a lesson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that was. All right, first boss. Arachnophobia worm girl. Arthropod demon idea. I wish I could do some air combos, but I can't. There we go. I think I can get three shots off, then I have to retreat to safety. One, two, three. Maybe I can get four. Maybe I'm being a little bit too safe. Here we go. I almost got something there. Oh, what the hell? I, I didn't see that move last time I played this. I didn't see that move in hard mode. I didn't see this move in hard mode either. Go away, poison. How did I not get hit? It's a miracle. It's a freaking miracle. This is a really long death animation. She just turns gray. It's not even impressive. Got a Dia's Pearl? I didn't get that last time. What did I miss? Grants poison properties to your arrows. What? I'm glad that I restarted the game then, because I didn't realize that that thing was there. <coughs> I'm sorry. Who are you? I see. So you're Kaho, huh? What a unique name. Call me Ascorn. 
I take it you're unaware of the situation of these lands. <coughs> you mentioned your journey brought you here in search of the Queen. If you really intend to continue further into the Kingdom of Karst, beware. A ghastly presence has been enveloping everything. The Sacred Grove is one of the few untouched spots. Well, thanks, Panda Man. I appreciate your discretion in these matters. I appreciate your help. I appreciate everything you do. Just standing there and coughing on me. It's unsanitary! So please, stop the coughing. Ow! I may have started on easy mode, but damn. Those things still hurt. Is there any point for me having poison arrows if I'm just wanting to kill these things all as quickly as possible? I'm starting to think no. Can I stand on that cloud? No, I can't. Oh, so he is poisoned. There's gonna be a witch over here. Nope, no witch. There's gonna be a trap down here. Come at me, bro. That's what I thought. Vitality fragment. Fantastic. We'll eat a bellflower here. We'll just move on. This place fucking sucks. And I think I killed that witch. Holy crap. I had so much trouble on this spot. Ow! What? I hate these so much. I hate them. Alright. Remember how I said I was having trouble? I'm still having trouble, apparently. You know what? Fuck this. Wait. Oh, poison killed her. I wish I could jump that high. Do I have to, like, time it perfectly? Is this a pixel-perfect jump? I believe this is about as pixel-perfect as I can get. And when I say about, I mean exactly. Because when you- you can't be about pixel-perfect. You gotta be exactly pixel-perfect. That would suck if I could poison myself. No. Don't you dare sneak up on me. Got the bellflower. Oh, baby. Make this stop. Make what stop? I, I mean, I'd like to. I don't like that he went through my arrows. That upsets me just a little bit. Ow. Alright, let's heal up. Poison should help us out with that dude. So yeah, the poison arrows. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, man. Hey, a door. Completely forgot about that door, I'm not gonna lie. I poisoned myself! What? Not cool, man. Let's talk to this girl. You came from that imp-infested forest? <laughs> Interesting. How can I help you? Alright, Fairy Tear, Crystal Seed, Ring of Candor. Raises users' resistance to status ailments. And temporarily increases attack by 50%. So, are is that consumable? I haven't used that yet. Whoops. Crystal Seed. Quite difficult to grow and into an adult tree. It says I have one. Yeah, it does come back. Fantastic, that's actually awesome. Glad I bought that. That'll come in handy. Especially against the upcoming boss. I hate these witches. I hate the witches so much, man. Get. Yo. Ass. Out! I almost poisoned myself again. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to make this a bit of a shorter episode series. It's been 15 minutes. What is over here? Ivory bug. Two out of two. Fantastic. Well, now we're going to end the episode. But I uh, hope you enjoy this series. I hope I enjoy this game some more. I'm enjoying it a lot more now that I don't have to stress about dying all the time. I need to stop... I need to learn to stop just picking hard mode all the time, you know? Like, why? Why do that to yourself? But then again, some games are just too easy if they're not on hard mode. 
but some games are just too hard if they're on hard mode, and the ones that don't let you just go down in difficulty can be even more frustrating because then you have to start over. But you know what? That's my fault. I digress. Uh, like I said, I hope you're enjoying the series. Please go check out my friend Zero Budget Geeks channel. There's a dis link in the description below. Probably going to be an annotation and a card for here for you to click as well. So yeah, go check him out. He's a pretty cool guy. And uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.